Hey, what's up, guys? So hopefully you guys liked the uh, the Q and A I did. And if you guys want to keep seeing more of those, just keep leaving comments and everything. I'm gonna sort of just uh, compile them, I think, and then try and do one whenever I get time. I don't know if I could do the Q and A's every week, but if I start getting a lot of questions, I will uh, look to doing those every week so I could get those answered for you guys. Um, one one thing is uh, also today I didn't really have a lot of time to do. I was like really busy today, so I didn't have time. I wanted to go out and like like fly and do like some cool stuff and everything but uh that's gonna have to wait till another time i had a couple like car issues this morning and stuff it's a long story but uh yeah so i finally got around let me show you this is my backup six inch drone wolf and about like i think it's already been like two months ago i hit a tree so incredibly hard i mean i could hear the smack of it and i thought this thing was like like dust but uh it ended up just ripping the GoPro off this GoPro mount that I have on here. And so it just ripped it out of the standoffs. And uh, another thing that happened was the screen on top of here is like kind of, it just, I don't know, broke. I don't want to say it shattered, but it broke and it won't come on anymore. So I finally got around to fixing this. I want to go just fly this maybe at the park, like get some packs in it, see if the tune is still good because it had a really good tune. And uh, just see how it is flying. I do have like a little crack on the bottom of the base plate too. I don't know. I just want to test it out. The other thing is, um, this is a quick tip with this. If you have uh, your GoPro session and it's in working order right now, make sure you take a picture or write down that passcode because like I switched to another phone and uh, also this LCD screen is out now. I can't pull up the passcode. I don't know what it is. So I can only use this to change the settings and everything with my old phone. Um, I don't want to go to Best Buy and return it or anything yet because it's still good. But uh, yeah, I have to use my old phone to mess with the settings on this. And then sometimes GoPro, the app, the new one will ask you like, you know, certain stuff, what your password is. And it gets weird sometimes. Knowing it is key. So just take a picture of it. It's like a, a good tip to know. And then one last thing before we go fly is I got this today in the mail. Um, this is the little Tad X from Gorilla Drone. This is from uh, Javier Delgado in Terlock, California. And I'm going to open it up real quick here because I know he asked if I got the package he sent me. <clears throat> All right, so um, Javier will hit me up like when I'm doing like my Instagram my Instagram live. So if you guys aren't uh, watching me on Instagram or following me on Instagram, you can find me on there, Conasty FPV. And uh, yeah, he was like, I got this little tiny drone. I want you to try out. So. Uh, he saw I have my address and everything for people to send me stuff in my description, and he sent this to me, and it's super cool, and thank you very, very much. Um, after I build the butters from Charles, I think I'm going to build this guy because it's another small one. Ugh. Check this out. So, I got some uh, cool straps here, too. Ooh, focus. They say Gorilla Drone if it doesn't focus. Bunch of uh, sweet stickers. You can see those. It's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so this is the guy right here. This is it. It's uh, here's the size of my hand. Check that out. It looks pretty good. Um, I wrote this is like a super hard protective little shell on here, and uh, yeah, this is made very very well for a little little tiny guy. I don't know um, like too much background on his company, but if you go check him out, it's Gorilla spelt with uh, G-U-E-R-R-I-L-L-A. I-L-L-A. Yeah. <laughs> it's Gorilla Drone, and uh, check him out. This is, like I said, the little Tad X, and I'm excited to do like uh, some small, really like tiny like maybe proximity stuff or something. I just need to figure out how I could get a session mounted on something like this or like the butters. Um, I'd really like to have nice nice HD footage um, of doing that stuff. So, cool, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, let's get over to flying. All right, it's 
such a nice day out. I don't know why I thought this place would be packed, um, or I don't even know why I thought I should go over here because it's a park. Parks are usually really packed, but there's not really anybody where I want to fly, so let's see how this thing does. Um, there's a couple people playing tennis right here, but I don't think I'll bother them too much. All right, so this is going to be the uh, the pup six inch that took a a beating. Hopefully everything's still good on it. Oh, that's not good though. Got the antenna in the way. Seems like I have some video, so that seems good. Oh, video blacked out on me. So maybe something's a little wrong with the video system. So we'll just take it easy here. Video is like really static you too. It's not good at all. Oh, okay. I keep losing video. Like it goes completely out on me. So, but you know what? Surprisingly, the tune still seems pretty good. It seems like on a, on a quick roll going out on me. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> Video is not good over here, but... I don't know, what do you guys think? I think the tune's actually not bad. Yeah, seemed pretty good right there. Oh my gosh, this video though. Uh, That was a little bouncy, but that was me. Yeah, this seems good still. Yeah. I think we're still good on this tune, guys. I don't know. All right. I just don't know, I don't trust the video, so I'm not going to keep flying this one. I also want to fly my uh, my 5 inch because it's been a little while since I've flown 5 inch. All right, I'm gonna fly the uh, five inch with the slime green props. I love these props. These are like gotta be my favorite color so far. By the way, this is five inch, so this is like my full kiss uh, like D shot setup. So uh, it's only the five inch that I'm running with that. All right, so I don't even remember if this is on the uh, triboy tune like I have on here or if it's on the quad blade tune. I'm thinking it was the quad blades I was flying. And that sun's getting so bright, I can't even see anything there. But it feels pretty good. I haven't flown this five in a while, so just want to kind of fly it through here, get used to some things. I feel like my uh, my right roll, for some reason, it's almost like it's over rolling <laughs> that makes sense or like um, like how do I explain it like when I I'm going back like this I don't know if it's over rolling or if it's catching it like just too good or something it's pretty crazy 
I saw a couple people over there like doing a little walk right now, so I have to watch out. Okay, so I keep getting blinded by that sun, so I should stay away from doing stuff like that uh, if I'm going to be facing the sun. I never really liked the VTX in this one. I'm not going to make that. <laughs> I love finding little monkey bars like this to practice these little uh, split S type things. Another thing is, did you guys see, like when I get to the bottom of there, that's the difference between five and six, if you guys are ever really wondering is, like say I do something like this, and I come in steep, I have to really time this five inch. The, the six inch just has so much power to barely, you barely hit the throttle and it'll grab. So like I'll go into something like this with a six inch, and see like, ah, uh, my timing's off because I'm so used to uh, it just throwing the quad back and uh, having no problem, like all, all this stuff. See, I thought I was gonna be further into it. So it's good practice for me. And uh, you guys should like just practice if you're gonna be flying six inch and five inch to make sure you guys practice uh, knowing, you know, the, the difference in what it could do, I guess, power-wise, should I say. <laughs> you have to, I gotta punch to like, hit more throttle, going and catching myself into some of this stuff when I get all the way to the bottom. But uh, yeah, I would just, I would practice a lot of stuff like how I'm doing right now, just punch up, go, okay. Ah, uh, see? Eh, uh, V1S props, why, ah, uh, right side up, no. But that's what I mean, you gotta practice. Um, six inch, I would've been able to pull out of that. Five inch on a low battery, <laughs> not so much. <laughs> all right, so out of all that, I had one prop. This one right here that needed to be bent back. This is what I kinda like about these props, especially if you're practicing. It's like it's still fly now. The other uh, HQs, I'd be done. So, those still sound all right. But yeah, sweet. All right, so pretty uneventful day for the most part today. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys could see the difference in the five and the six flight characteristics that I was trying to show you there were, um, you know, just the ability to a, just boost yourself up quickly if you're doing certain things and, and get like that bottom pull out of like situations where you really need that uh that like should I say it's like got to good top end and bottom end torque just in general um but uh that's why I like flying six inch like I'm really comfortable with it so it's good for me to go out and practice five though because there are a lot of situations where I still want to use a five inch um to get certain shots and things like that and I really like the uh kind of some of the little agility that this thing has compared to the six inch but for the most part um i could i feel like i get the six inch to do a lot of the things the five inch does um so yeah I, i'll still fly both but hopefully you guys uh saw what i kind of meant by everything and hopefully you guys enjoyed it i'll see you guys tomorrow get out there get some slime green props because they're nasty and i'll see you guys later peace